Iran continues to crack down on protests, but Iranian women will not back down. Just this week, the regime arrested a couple for dancing in public and sentenced them each to 10 and a half years in prison. They're both Instagram influencers who are in their early 20s, and after they posted a video of themselves dancing in front of Tehran's ironically named Freedom Tower, they are arrested by security forces at home. All this while the regime announced that they released a thousand women from jail, as though the Iranian government is not actually the devil incarnate. By using detentions, torture, and death sentences, Iran is trying to scare people from hitting the streets. And reports of sexual violence and rape against female prisoners have been growing. When a group of worshippers left a mosque to peacefully protest the rape of a 15-year-old girl by a police officer, Iranian forces fired live ammunition and tear gas on them. Now, the Iranian regime is sending plainclothed officers into protests to attack from the inside. One of their awful strategies has been to shoot people in the eye so that when they go to the hospital, it shows they were at a protest, and from there they get detained. Now, I know all of this is gruesome, but there are also signs that the women of Iran have bigger balls than the regime. Across the country, in Tehran and other cities and in malls, it's now common to see women walking around without a headscarf, including on Iran's National Hijab Day, which was February 1st. Take that, Ayatollah. The Iranian government says they're going to use surveillance cameras to enforce the hijab job. But if everyone is going out without it, then it's kind of hard to arrest everyone. And this gives me hope that protesters will in some way advance their agenda and that the regime will start losing its grip.